Today on Tyler Wood Planet, I'm gonna show you how I made this propagation station. So something like this would probably cost you about $30 on Etsy from the ones that I've seen online. Uh, I made mine for just a few dollars. I actually was able to order like 100 glass tubes for 20 bucks and then the wood was probably another $10, $15. Um, and I've been making these like crazy because members of my plant group are buying them like crazy and they're also great to sell so that you can get extra plants as well. So I'm going to show you today how I made them. So the very first thing I did was pulled out my sliding compound miter saw and got it all set up. And the first cuts that I made were seven inches long and I needed two pieces for the top and the bottom of my propagation station. After that I needed two three and a half inch pieces and these became my side pieces of my propagation station. So everything you need for this project is right here. Two seven inch pieces and two three and a half inch pieces for the sides. Because I make so many of these, I decided to make myself a little pilot hole um, template. So basically I just lined these up, drilled them out. They're about an inch and a half apart. Um, that way I was able to do it very quickly with a lot of pieces of wood. I used a 5 8 inch bore drill bit in order to make my propagation tube holes. And what I did was I drilled about halfway through the project and then I flipped it over and drilled the rest of the way through it. Uh, I found that that helped kind of prevent tearing of the wood. I did this for all four holes and was left with something that looked like this for the top piece. And this just seemed like a good time to throw in some dramatic slow motion shots of me cleaning up, so enjoy. Wow. Next up for the top of the project, I grabbed my router and a quarter inch round over bit. I wanted the propagation tube holes to have a nice rounded over edge so I put my router in, went around the outside edge. Like I said, just kind of smoothed everything out and gave it a nice rounded over look. I then hopped on my belt sander and got rid of any tears or rough edges on my projects and gave them a quick sand down again, just to kind of make them look a little bit nice and make sure that there weren't gonna be any splinters to the people who I was giving them to and selling them to. I then sanded out the propagation tube holes and I grabbed Jacobine, 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 I don't know, stain and then got to work staining the project beginning with my propagation tube holes and put a nice coat on every piece that I have. And next up, I grabbed some wood glue, put a nice small layer on my side pieces and clamped them shut. Now it was important to line up the pieces and make sure that they were all square and looked nice. Um, I did this with both of the sides. And again, I clamped the whole project shut and grabbed a wet paper towel in order to wipe off any excess glue. I left these clamped overnight and the next morning uh, I unclamped them grabbed my propagation tubes and just put one in each of the propagation tube holes very gently of course my propagation tubes are 16 millimeters wide by 120 millimeters long that's about 0.6 inches wide and 5 inches tall and there you have it easy propagation station super cheap again a lot of power in trading these for new plants if you're a member of any facebook swap and trade plant groups. If you like what you saw today, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time on Tyler Wood Plant It.